The Old Arbor Police in St. Catherine are searching for a man who shot and killed another near the police station on Thursday. The deceased has been identified as Kirel Plummer 31, a laborer of Bannister Housing Scheme in Old Harbor. Gunmen pretending to be police officers shot and killed a farmer at his home in New Longsville, Clarendon on Friday morning. The deceased has been identified as 42-year-old Tyrone Davis, otherwise called Ilroy. It was reported that around 1.30 a.m., Davis was at home sleeping when he was awakened by loud bangs on the door shouts of Dave Davis police open up. The farmer police said complied after hearing the banging getting louder from both the front and the back doors. He opened the front door and the fake cops opened gunfire hitting him in his head. The police were summoned and found the now deceased laying on his back with what appeared to be gunshot wounds to the head. He was clad in a black long sleeve shirt and red shorts. Davis was, report, was transported to the Maypen Hospital where he was pronounced dead. The body was later removed to the mark pending a post-mortem examination. Two women were attacked and shot one fatally at a bar on Windward Road, Kingston 2 on Thursday. The dead woman has been identified as 38-year-old Tracy Ann Barnes, otherwise called Pinky, a bartender from Vineyard Town, Kingston 3. The injured woman is 34. It was reported that around 1.55 p.m. the females were at the rear of the premises when a man entered and purchased a cigarette from the bartender in the bar. He smoked it then went to the rear of the premises, pulled a handgun from his right front pants pocket and opened gunfire at the two women, who were among a group of friends. The police said Barnes was shot in the forehead. She reportedly died on the spot. The gunman ran back through the bar and escaped on a waiting motorcycle that drove easterly along Windward Road. Both women were assisted to hospital where Barnes was pronounced dead. The other woman was admitted police and police confirmed that her injuries are considered life-threatening. No motive has been given for the attack.